end in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing this super cute banana. So grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. So we're going to be drawing a banana. Okay. A banana. Yeah, we're going to keep it a normal banana, I think. <laughs> All right, begin with a nice curvy line for the fruit, the banana. I'm going to bring one line a lot longer down compared to the first line. Over here, we're going to draw a curving line up and over and down. Okay, wrap it down and bring it up and connect for a banana peel. And a second layer, just like that. Okay, connect to the fruit. Curving line on the opposite side, whoosh, and over. Anytime I'm going too fast, just hit pause and hit play whenever you're ready to continue with me. If you wanna rewatch a step, just make sure you just hit that rewind button and boom, you're ready to join me at your own pace. Okay, curving line up and connect, and a second one here as well, and connect. All right, let's draw the rest of the banana peel. So this is one part of the peel that's open on either side. And now we're gonna create the rest of the peel. Whoa, that line got crazy. Let's try to redraw that here. My hand did not bend the way I needed it to. So we're just gonna redraw and curve at the bottom. Now I know that I peel bananas <laughs> wrong, but I like to see Keep the stem as a handle, okay? So my handle is gonna be over here because that's how I eat my banana. But maybe if you like to peel the stem off, maybe your your <laughs> stem is hanging off of a peel, but I like to eat my banana. Honestly, it peels so much better when I just pinch it on the other side and then I like to use that stem side as a handle. That's just what I like to do. All right, a couple lines up the center here on the peel. Um, and then we're also gonna add a nice little face on our bananas. So we're gonna make it super simple and cute. So two circles on either side. We're gonna color them in and then just leave a little dot of white on each side. And it's a super cute banana. So we're gonna draw a nice little smiley. And on either end, we're gonna draw a circle for a cute banana cheek. Okay, how adorable is that? Now, if you wanna make this creative, you can make it a banana phone and add some <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 banana phone um, buttons, because phones have buttons and some musical notes around there. Or if you want, you are ready to color in your super cute banana. Okay, all I can think right now about is Raffi. I love Raffi. I feel like my whole childhood was full of banana phones. Anyway, color it in. We're gonna begin with yellow and then we're gonna add some orange after. And you notice, you might notice that I have left a bit of white along the top here and that is for a highlight. So if you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll know that I try to add highlights. I try to add other values, right? And value adds, well, realism, but also variety, which is a principle of design. Adding variety by having a range of different values, and that makes it more visually interesting for our viewers to look at. Okay, we're gonna do shading in two ways. One, we're gonna grab a gray, and one, we're gonna grab an orange. We're gonna shade with two things. I'm gonna go along this inside, lower part of this peel here. I'm gonna go on top of that yellow, and you can do this with any art medium. Layer your mediums. Creates variety. So now I have an, a yellow orange instead of just an orange or just a yellow. And I'm also going to create a yellow orange line along the bottom here, right? We're doing value in layers on this guy, just like that. Okay, grab that gray. Okay, we got my gray. I'm going to go around the eyes here. Now I do need to color in the banana a little bit, but I'm not there yet. Okay, I'm also going to take this gray. Go along the bottom of the peel. My hand moved again, there we go. And along the bottom of where the fruit is sitting in the peel here, and along the bottom, just like that. 
Okay, banana peel is done, but my fruit is not. And I don't have a light yellow light enough for this. It's sort of a cream color and I don't have anything that, I felt marker's too solid. So I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna grab a beige or you could use a light yellow, whatever you have. A crayon, wax crayon. I'm just gonna use wax crayon because it's close. You can use pencil crayon. And now I can control my value. So I'm just going to lightly, lightly, very to barely touch the paper. You might hardly see this on the camera, but I'm gonna barely touch the paper and I'm gonna go around and shade in. First, I'm gonna use this tan color. I'm gonna go a little bit more firmly along the edge. And then as I work my way towards the center, it's going to be a lot softer and I'm gonna layer it with this nice little yellow. Actually, I'm surprised I even have a solid crayon. I tend to break a lot of my crayons. If you have found crayons that don't break, or maybe it's just me, or you have a tip not to break your crayons all the time, please leave those ideas down in the comments section below the video. I would love to hear your favorite wax crayon brand, um, or maybe it's just easier to have them broken and then they don't break anymore. I don't know. Anyways, layering it all up and my friend, just like that, your lovely banana artwork. Let's add a little shadow on the ground here. Your lovely banana artwork is done. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Oh, <laughs>